Mexican authorities are working to find the killers responsible for the massacre that left nine American women and children dead. The victims were in three separate vehicles and the attacks happened about 10 miles apart. A chilling scene in northern Mexico where family members of the nine Americans ambushed viewed the carnage. Mexican authorities say they've arrested a heavily armed person who may be connected to the attack. The suspect was found holding two bound captives in a car, but the person's involvement in the massacre of three women and six children is unclear. <laughs> Some survivors are hospitalized with gunshot wounds. A source tells CBS News that a drug cartel may have targeted the victims. Three vehicles with women and children in broad daylight. There was no mistaken identity. Eight children survived the attacks, including 13-year-old Devin Langford, who was able to hide six of his injured siblings in the brush before walking 14 miles for help. The victims belonged to a breakaway group once associated with the Mormon Church. They were part of the extended Leparon family, whose history in Mexico dates back generations. A relative says they lived in La Mora, a small community with a population of fewer than a thousand dual U.S.-Mexican citizens. A 2012 documentary focused on the violent history of the Mexican drug cartels towards the Leperones because of the family's apparent wealth and resources. We've had a few run-ins with them. Uh, don't like to say too much about them. President Trump has offered U.S. assistance and says this is the time to wage war on the drug cartels and wipe them off the face of the earth. Creo. Mexico's president said he appreciates the offer but declined, insisting his nation must act independently. Investigators found more than 200 shell casings at the scene of the attacks, mostly from assault rifles.